thought in it in this period is very much tied to that context. Quite generally, or more generally than, than this point, um, the, her whole thinking about valuing is in this period especially tied to this issue of individualism versus collectivism. So the idea of stressing that it's an act is tied into stressing that it's an act that you as an individual performs. And uh, whereas in We the Living, the contrast to that was that collectivism and collectivist governments interfere with your ability to perform this act and so to have values. And so they lock you in airtight so that the blood vessels of your spirits burst. In the Fountainhead, we have the idea that the wrong relation to other people uh, is connected to your not being a valuer. What is it to be a second-hander at root? Uh, if valuing is y your life, if to live is to be a valuer, this activity of valuing is the central life activity, a second-hander is someone who doesn't perform that activity, but rather is animated by the performance of that activity by other people. He's like an undead corpse who's kind of jerked around by other people's valuing. Uh, that's what moves him. Um, now, a, a really interesting question about this before we kind of zoom in and look at how this works, because again, what I'm really interested in is the idea of this process and what it consists in. Here's a question. Is the second-hander a non-valuer because he's a second-hander? That is, because he has the wrong relationship to other people. Or rather, is he a second-hander because he's a non-valuer? Two possibilities. The person just doesn't perform this activity of valuing at all, for whatever reason, unrelated to other people. And since he doesn't perform it, there's a void. And what fills the void is other people's choices, right? Another possibility, because a guy develops the wrong relationship to other people, it prevents him from developing his faculties. Um, uh, there are things in the Fountainhead that point both ways. And there are things in her writing after the Fountainhead that point both ways. Um, and I used to think that there was a progression where she held the second view earlier on, that it's because you relate to other people improperly that you uh, don't value, that that was her view in the Fountainhead. And then she moved on from that. Uh, I now don't think that's true. Uh, I even when I thought that, thought there was some evidence the other way in the fact that she hadn't made up her mind. But notice that even very late in her life, um, the, the reason to think that the other one is true is because, th that is, sorry, that it's because you don't value that you become a second-hander is because valuing is going to be an act of consciousness. Ultimately, it's going to amount to the same thing as the choice to think or not. And that's a primary, but that's for tomorrow. Uh, but notice, though, that going back to one of the quotes we looked at yesterday, our quote, num uh, our quote number um, 10, the issue to think or not takes actual form existentially and psychologically as the issue to value or conform. So even in that late statement of it, she's associating the choice to think in the way it would confront one as the alternative to thinking being to conform to other people, to have the wrong relation to other people. So I think in the end, her views on this are kind of subtle, and we'll talk about them next week. And there are certainly cases of people in the fountainhead, if one looks back on them with an Atlas Shrugged-like perspective, who definitely are people who are constantly choosing to think, who are making the right choice, who are in some sense at the deepest level valuers, but who nonetheless count as second-handers because of mistakes that they make, which um, mistakes in relating to people that they make, honest errors perhaps, impede their ability to value. And this is Wynand, right, the man who uh, wasn't born to be a second-hander. We can talk later in the, uh, with questions as to what it means to be born to be something. But um, I'm going to pause with that. OK.